Okay, friends watching now on Twitch and later on YouTube, welcome. We have just downloaded the Project W, Project Wesker PTV. And unlike some other times, I'm actually going to record my live reaction to see the new characters right away. Now, we have two new survivors and one new killer. And we're just going to see their models for the first time and check out their perks. Maybe have a couple of words for each. And this is it. Uh, these characters are now available on the PTB that's only available on Steam. And first is Ada Wong. God only knows what's down here. Which I really, really like. And Rebecca, who I might like even more. How cool is that? Does she have a line as well? Let me switch back and forth. Maybe she says something. Ah, uh, it might be random, but they have voice lines, which is really exciting. She is very pretty. I really like them. I don't know if they have... Um... If they already have... Nah, looks like... Looks like we don't have any uh, customization. Oh, wow, dude. That's so cool. Rebecca looks really cool. I really like her. <laughs> she likes us too, Chad. That's cool. All right. Um, should we have a, a look at their perks? Uh, let's have a look at the killer first, shall we? This is super exciting, actually. So the killer is called the Mastermind. It's Albert Wesker, um, a staple villain. <gasps> wow. Of the Resident Evil series. And that back there is just Thunder in the background, who, which just happened at the perfect time. Really heckin' cool, isn't it? Wow, look at that. I imagine he has voice lines as well. Uh, damn, damn. Okay, yeah, uh, we'll get into the power and everything else. <laughs> Let's have a look at their perk, shall we? Right, so, uh, what do we have here? Um, superior anatomy. Decades of research have culminated in you, something far stronger and more dangerous than any human. When a survivor performs a fastball within 8 meters of you, this perk activates. The next time you vault a window, your vaulting speed is increased by 40%. This perk has a 40, 30 second cooldown. Okay, so basically, um, what this perk does is it lets you vault a window almost as fast as a survivor, from my understanding, if you are following a survivor. And I don't know how long it stays. Like, could you could you have a survivor vault a window and then you go for someone else and then use it on them? On killers like Myers that already have a faster uh, vaulting speed by, by default or along with Bamboozle, it could be really interesting. <gasps> oh my god, what's going on in the background? Um, I like this perk. It, it's actually quite interesting. Then we have Awakened Awareness. When carrying a survivor, you can see the auto of other survivors within 20 meters of your position. Autos revealed in this way stay visible for two seconds, which means that this would pair well with Lethal Pursuer. This is a bit of a scary perk. 20 meters is not a ton, but it is quite a lot to see people. Uh, basically, the, the one usage for this perk that looks really busted is with Starstruck. You have Agitation, Big Terror Radius. Doesn't affect the perk, but doesn't matter. Lets you carry fast. And then you go around the map until you see people. And these people don't know that you can see them. They don't get notified. So then when you uh, hook or drop the person, you can then immediately go to them as a nurse, as a slinger, and immediately instant on them. That seems... That seems a bit powerful. Anything else, I don't think it's that good. It's... In fact, this perk is a massive, massive upgrade. And straight upgrade compared to, to other perks like Hangman's Trick. And then maybe uh, one of the most unique ones so far, Terminus. You're a brilliant tactician who prepares for every eventuality. When Exegates are powered, so that's when gems are done, uh, this perk activates. While Terminus is active, Injured, Downed, and Hook Survivors are inflicted with a broken status effect until the gates are open. When the gates are open, Survivors will stay broken for an additional 30 seconds. Okay. Um... So basically, this is a bit of a choking perk to stop survivors from resetting as soon as the fifth gen gets popped. I don't know if it will counter adrenaline. Say you're injured and the gems get done. Will this be countered by adrenaline or counter adrenaline? Adrenaline is a very strong perk right now, so that will be a big, big question to answer. I actually, I actually like this perk a, a fair amount. I, I can see it being useful with other strong perks in the endgame, like, uh, for example, No Way Out. Imagine you have three people, they're all nearly dead, but now they all heal quickly. Well, this perk puts a stop to that, and they can't open gates quickly. It's kind of nice. So he has a 40 meter terror radius. Wow, that's actually quite unique. We've never had a killer with a 40 meter terror radius. Does that mean that he would have a 56 meter terror radius with agitation? And starstruck? Well, damn. 
I hope his, uh, his power is not a basic attack. We're gonna get into his power in just a little bit. Let's have a look at the survivor perks first. They bring three each, so that's quite a few to to talk about. Now, fortunately, some of these things were leaked, so we already have done a bit of our homework. I've already seen them. Uh, the first one's called Wiretap. It's perhaps my it's perhaps my favorite. Um, it allows you to... Uh, it activates when you've been repairing a gem for a little while, and when you activate it, any killer that comes near that gem gets shown to you and to your teammates. And unless the killer kicks the, the gem, it doesn't go away. Uh, in small maps, and presumably stacking with open-handed, this should be a really interesting perk. What do you think, guys? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll remove the cam if you guys want to see the whole thing. Boop. Uh, we then have reacting, reactive healing, which is a perk that could really quickly get out of control. Imagine that you have a killer with, like, say, the best for last or something. And they very quickly uh, take two hits on two teammates near you. That's basically like more than half healing done to yourself. Uh, anytime your teammates take damage around you and you can probably like follow them, you can save a lot of time healing. Unless the killer has sloppy butcher or other mangled forms. That's, that's an interesting one. I kind of like it. It's not that great. It's a bit situational, but I think this perk has some potential. I, I personally like the concept. Uh, this perk, however, I can't say I'm a huge fan of. It, it's called low profile. When you are the last survivor, either because everyone else escaped or they're dead, for 90 seconds, you don't have pools of blood, scratch marks. Um, yeah, that's it. That's literally it. I don't like this. If you're the last, if you're the last survivor, the killer is going to find you by birds, by perks, by other cues, I don't think they need scratch marks. It's a very, like if you get value out of this perk, I think that's kind of crazy. So in my opinion, this perk is probably the weakest one we'll see in this DLC. Uh, Rebecca though has some really scary looking perks that could be very meh or very, very strong. Better than new is perhaps my favorite. It's an exhaustion perk uh, for you. Mm -mm. Wait, hold up. Is this, is this the one? No, that's the... Wait, doesn't it ca cause exhaustion? Mm. What's the perk that has the... Okay, never mind. It's the next one. Uh, better than you basically gives a buff to any survivor that you heal. Uh, no, feed perk. <laughs> You're still fixed on that? Uh, my bad, chat. Uh, better, better than new is, um, is a perk that gives a boost to basically everything. Healing, opening, doing gens, which can add up really quickly. If um, if you do it to multiple survivors, what do you guys think? H how much value can you get out of this? It's only thirty five seconds. I thought it was permanent. Mm, not opening gates. I mean, six percent on gates is very little. Six percent on gems is nice. Really, this is level three. I thought this would be stronger. It's trash. Oh man, this this perk actually is quite good in 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 in, in the action, but the numbers are just too low. Hmm. 6% boost to repairing gens, healing, opening chests, and cleansing totems. The the only the only thing here, like leader is way, way better than this. Um for, for healing, opening chests, even gates. But yeah, only 35 seconds. Oh no, this perk needs to be buffed. Yeah, if it was like two minutes or something, then yeah, sure. Uh reassurance here is perhaps the strongest perk that survivors get this patch. This perk is a reverse kinship. When you get within six meters of a survivor, you can choose to activate this perk and it gives them 30 seconds extra on the hook stage. And unless, uh, sorry, unlike kinship, it should work on both faces. So if you do this right, you can make a person on the hook, because he has a big cooldown, but it doesn't matter, because uh, you can use it twice. You could make a person on the hook take 90 seconds and then 90 seconds on the second. So an extra whole minute against a camping killer is huge, 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 huge. And it's a really nice perk because you don't need you don't need it on you if you get camped. Only one person having it or two people having it guarantees that you can use it. So super, 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 super huge perk. And uh, maybe a bit of a band-aid fix to help camping. But other than that, very good stuff. And then hyper focus is really interesting. It makes skill checks progressively harder, both in healing, uh, but mostly in gens. But... It also makes them give more progress. So normally uh, a skill check will take 1% uh, of a gem and save you 0 0.9 seconds. This will make it more, more, more after you hit 3 or so. Now it's 2%. This can 
add up quite nicely. Not quite as consistently as a toolbox or some other perks like Prove Thyself, but it seems like an interesting perk. But how hard will it get to, to do those uh, skill checks, though? I, I don't know. Uh, my quick opinion, the killer perks are okay, and some of them seem like they might have niche uses. I don't recommend the killer uh, as a beginner um, in terms of perks, they, don't, they seem quite advanced perks. The survivor perks though are cute. This one might be really nice to help your teammates. The other two are very niche, and Rebecca's perks are really interesting. I wouldn't run better than new until it gets buff. I wouldn't run hyper focus unless you dedicate a lot of time to mastering it, especially on console with low FPS. It's hard to hit skill checks. But reassurance is an amazing perk that I think any any team could run and get a lot of value and completely stop camping on its tracks in many many instances. So yeah, no, very good stuff. Let's now get into a lobby, check out the killer's power, and see it in action. All right, so we've got some folks in a private game, and we can now finally explain what this killer does. His power is called the Virulent Bound, and super long story short, it lets him dash forward. Apparently he can go over obstacles, maybe pallets, maybe small stuff. And if he grabs you, it's a bit like Doomfist in Overwatch. He will toss you forward, and if you hit something solid, you actually take damage. This also infects you, and if you're fully infected over time, you become slower. If you're fully infected and he grabs you, he doesn't th throw you, he straight up picks you up. So he's basically got a punching power that has a downside if you get hit too many times, that it slows you down. The way to combat this is to use the first aid sprays. There's a bunch of them and you can use them multiple times to remove the infection. So this will force a bit like Nemesis uh, survivors to pick up items, drop their own items to keep this infection at bay. Let's see what it looks like in a match uh, against some of the new survivors in the new reworked RPD. You guys want to ready up? Let's do it. All right, here we are. Uh, so the RPD map has been split into the middle and the right and the middle and the left. And right now we have the western wing version so presumably we will not be able to oh i see i guess you don't get to see the whole part of this map it's kind of cut you still get a bit of both halves i suppose but maybe not so much on that side you can see that the gens don't go very far there well this is quite interesting hello you guys want to test some basic attack animations this looks cool Hold up, I've heard that if you play this on higher, it looks better. Yeah, much better. Alright. So that's the basic animation on... On Wesker. Whoa. Two god pallets? Are they right here, both? Yeah, that seems a bit much. Alright, let's check out Let's check out the power. So let's charge the Burial and Bound. And you can hold it. A bit like a Demogorgon Shred, I suppose. And then go... And you can do it up to two times. Okay. So right now we didn't actually hit anything, but let's see what happens if we go over a pallet. Because we sa it says that we can go over obstacles. Let's try this. There's two charges, yeah. Ooh, interesting. All right. Well, let's see what happens when you hit a survivor, shall we? Wait a minute! Did I injure- Did I toss one survivor into another? Oh my goodness, okay, this is exciting. Let's- we need to try that again. I injured them both! That's cool as heck! <laughs> I- I feel powerful, oh well. Okay, okay, but there's a catch. You cannot down two survivors with it. This person was fully- you, you can see the virus on their HUD. This person was fully infected, so instead of tossing them into the ground, we actually grab them. And this will also happen here, watch. Yes. Alright, so, this, like, the second hit is a bit like lesion. It can, it can injure, but it can never down. So, presumably, uh, Chris here, I will toss him. He's not infected, so I will toss him. Wait! Wait, 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 did I actually down some? No, no, I injured, I... That's interesting. Wow, 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 wow. So now let's do, let's do a, a sequence of two, shall we? Do you 
actually think you can defeat Wow, so it's like a Demogorgon, basically? That can that can do tw oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Subtitles. Yeah, let's do that. Where are the subtitles, guys? Um You guys know where? Is it in general? Subtitle background. Subtitle on. Cool. Alright. Oh, you wanna drop this pallet? Go for it. Drop it. No, you can drop it. Oh, you want to stun me? Okay, let's check it out. You're merely postponing the inevitable. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 so you can use it to go over obstacles, but it doesn't seem like you can hit, actually, can you? No, it doesn't seem like you can. Oh, there you this is the aid spray to remove the Ouroboros. Cool. And it gives you it gives you an idea, just like Nemi, when they've used it. Oh, this is hacking cool, dude. And because she's fully infected, I just straight up grab her. Now, one thing we haven't done is toss over someone into a hole or something. This is the auto reading that I get when I carry someone, by the way. That's my bottom perk, awaken awareness. So anytime I carry someone, I see people. You disappoint me. Is that the best you Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. That's nuts, actually. 20 meters is a lot. And this skill has a 40 meter terror radius for some crazy reason. Okay. They use that. Alright, let's try to get them. Oh man, I can't. Okay, you wanna get into a locker or get grabbed? That would be funny. Try this. You guys can run a little bit. We can taste. We can test some normal chases. Ooh, almost. You still don't lose a ton of distance though by doing this. That's cool as heck. Oh, I got stuck there. My bad. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, I want to grab someone. Would anyone, would anyone show me what a grab looks like? Oh, you used the Ouroboros. That's cool. Alright. Uh, actually, maybe we should hook them. Ah, uh, we, we also want to see the Mori, right? You can roll everything else or just pallets? We're about to find out, actually. Oh, look at that. Very convenient. Oh, uh, this is actually outside. Oh, hold up. Let's go explore that while we hook our friend here. Yeah, we've never been outside the... Wow. And you have, you have, it's a bit like Nurse 2 where you have like a bit of a window to use the second one. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay. A bit of a... This looks some like some interesting tiles actually. And here's the front gate. Alright, so I'm gonna show you what I mean, right? I'm gonna use my power. You, you can run away, whoever this is. I use one. Wait, 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 wait. I used to... Ah, I waited too long. Yeah, you have like a blink window as well. I'll show you. Oh, but you can't use a second one if you vault over something. Interesting. One and two. Oh, but the second one is shorter. I see. Okay, that's interesting. So it's very much like nurse. It's it's very much like a nurse. It's very much like a nurse that doesn't get off the floor, you know? Okay, that's cool. All right. Range add-ons probably. He'll have some of that. We'll see the add-ons in just a hot second. All right. Okay, so so far we always have pushed them into something, right? Uh, farewell, old friend. Okay, how about I try to push someone off a cliff there? Because that would be really funny. Uh, follow me, you guys. I'm like a little kid. Push into a gen? A, a gen is something solid. I want to toss them into nothingness. See what happens. 
Okay, that should do it. <laughs> She's fine! <laughs> okay, it's not very dramatic, because we don't have a lot of space. Uh, yeah, she's fine. If you, if you don't bump into anything, you're fine. <laughs> Unless you're fully infected. If you're fully infected, you just straight up get grabbed. Get up here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. You can still go up there? No, not quite. Oh, this is perfect. Oh my god, this is perfect. Oh my goodness. Uh, come to the library, you guys. <laughs> can you do it with the ledge and hit them? Um... I mean, this should be this should be very rare. Like, like here, for example, I would try to hit them in a way that hits a a wall or something. You want to get a bit closer to me, whoever's that, Rebecca? Let's try this. <laughs> They're fine. And now I need to hit them normally. Yeah, so that's bad. You don't want to hold people. I mean, it's funny as heck, so do it. But what if they get really close to the wall? Maybe I can bang them into bang them into the wall as they fall. Mm -mm. But you infect, yeah, you do infect, you do infect. So maybe that's better than nothing, but... Um, yeah, you, 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 it's a bit like Doomfist. Uh, you wanna actually hit a wall. Nope, we fall. Alright, that's good to know. Oh my goodness. Alright, Chris, it's time to go. Go run, I'll catch you. Okay, wait, 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 now. Oh, I actually got stuck. <laughs> nice dead art, nerd. Alright, let's try to play around this room, see how we can do it. Oh. Oh. I need to grab immediately. Cool. And I can see people thanks to my perk. You know what? Why don't we test the window perk, guys? Um, yeah. Would anyone take this window right in front of me and I follow after them? Alright. Triggers? Wow, okay. And that's it. It didn't, it didn't look that impressive, but that is, that is quite something. Obviously, in this window, you wouldn't need that kind of help. But trust me, no, that, that can be that can be very, very significant. Now pair that with tier 3 Myers. We will, we will, no worries. Too bad you won't make it much further. Okay. You have to hit twice to fully infect? Uh, I think they also get infected passively. But you it's a bit like plague, maybe you don't see it. Wow. I don't know why it turns red sometimes. Maybe it means that that's happening or that it's full. I don't know. All right, let's get Chris. See ya. What? All right, guys, this is the moment you all been waiting for, right? Mori, Mori. Let's do it. Uh, you guys, you girls, stay away so you're not awkwardly in the background. Let's watch it. what I expected and that was actually really disturbing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, Jesus. Uh, heavens. Uh, would you get a bit close? Cap, thank you. Let's watch that again. That's horrifying. Oh my, Jesus, Jesus, use power on windows. Okay, that's a good call, let's give it a shot. Yep, goes right over them. The point is, what, 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 what is the point of doing that? Is there any? Because you don't hit them afterwards, it seems. Maybe that's a bug. Let's also try if there's any small obstacle we can go over. Because I said obstacles, but right, let's try this one. Not quite. Hmm. Say, say that this is a small obstacle. No, you can go over it. Uh, 
No, not quite. No chance? I I think it's still worth testing. I'm guessing... Okay. Like, I'm guessing that the utility of the power is to catch up to a survivor like this, right? Let's say that uh, Ada is running away from me. Go for it. Like, that is really fast. If the cooldown was any quicker, yeah, I would be immediately able to M1 them. That's kind of crazy. Breakable a wall with M2? Oh, uh, good point. I don't know if this map has any. Say uh, they're running and I do it again. What? And now I catch up. Nice. Very satisfying. Hmm. Hello. Okay. <laughs> you want to go do it in the open? Let's go. <laughs> Maybe with add-ons. Yeah, perhaps. Let's this. Oh man, his eyes look really cool. I think he's I think his uh his Uroboros has wrong lightning though. Don't you guys look don't you guys think it looks too too lit up? Alright, so Lin, uh can you can you please come here so I can injure you? I wanna see Terminus, the third perk in action. It says that it works when the exit gates are powered, so that means either five gens or closing the hatch. It says it as a bug. Ah, thank you so much. Okay, so it it doesn't look weird just because of it. Okay, that makes sense. So this will look even better. All right, so have a look at Lin. We're gonna close this and... Broken. Wow. If this counters Adrenaline, it will be a pretty big deal because I generally think Adrenaline is one of the better perks in the game right now. Wow, like a big, big counter. Damn. Very hecking cool. Um, so yeah, a few things remain to be seen and we need to see what it looks like from the survivor perspective, but... Yeah, look, I can do it before I even fully have it charged. That's kind of funny. Do you guys notice that? Look at my charge bar. I don't need to wait for it to be fully. You can just... Ooh, and you can do it really quickly as well. So that's kind of nice. You don't need super precise timing. You can just kind of spam it. So say I'm chasing someone around that corner. Wait, hold on. Let me get both charges. It's a bit like Nurse. Um, what I would want to do is do one big charge towards the door, then use my window of, of waiting to move a little bit and then hit them with a second. So something like this, right? One, move around, move around, move around, two. And I hit that couch, but you get the idea. That's very fucking cool. I really like this killer. It strikes me as a fairly strong one. Well. Um, since you asked, it does counter adrenaline since she had an enjoying box. She had adrenaline and he countered it. Wow. Thank you so much, Cap, for uh, con uh, confirming that for us. <laughs> well, I, I feel hacking able. Uh, shall we check the add-ons? There's 20 of them, like for any other killer. Let's have a look at that. All right, so after seeing what I've seen, it will take a bit more practice to figure it out, but his power seems very chase-oriented, with a bit of slowdown if the survivors want to undo the, the infection. That already, in my book, places him as a high-tier killer, very likely. Um, that will be tricky. Both him and the survivors strike me as advanced characters. I don't think these survivors are like super beginner friendly uh, and the killer is the same. But what will definitely cement whether he's super strong or not is his add-on. So we're going to have a look at them right now. Now that we understand the power, it will make more sense, right? We're going to start with the lower rarity ones. Uh, Uroboros Tendril. Increase movement speed while charging Virulent Bomb by 5%. Um, okay, this is, this is something Behavior does a lot where they take... A brown add-on to charge something about the the chase power, and it's you. It's usually one of his best items. It's like, it's like rat liver. Yeah, 115 or 110. He is normal movement speed, guys. 4.6, 40 meters. So this 5% seems little, but this seems really powerful already. Unicorn medallion increases the initial virulent bound distance by 20. Decreases the subsequent. Okay, so basically, first blink, uh, 20% longer. But it's already very long. Second blink, 20% shorter. It's already very short. And our pretty shoulder walkie is exactly the opposite. Let me double check that. Yes, it's exactly- they cancel each other out. So you can literally bring these two add-ons and you have no add-ons, which is really funny. Uh, but I actually think the RPD shoulder walkie is probably better. Because your first uh, bound is pretty good. It's the second one that's a bit lacking. But this actually allows you to choose which one you want to be longer. I like it, actually. It's kind of cool. Use both? No, don't use both. 
uh, Jewel Beetle, a beautiful and valuable insect. Decreases the virulent bound extension when grabbing a Swabber meat bound by 50%. Uh... So, so this is a meme add-on, right? So this means that you don't actually push them as far as I understand it, but you get extra blood points. Meme add-on, worthless, meh. Okay, moving on. Loose Crank. Increases movement speed between the first and second brilliant bomb by 20%. Okay, so this actually, this is, dude, this is actually really good. Uh, do you remember that little distance, that little period where I could hold the second blink and, and it makes you, 20% is really good. Like, this and this would make you a chasing machine. Uh, I, I want to try it already. That sounds really busted, actually. 20% is a, is a significant amount. What? Okay. So, so basically, you use your power, and then it, it's, it, it's basically like the Tonic Rose for Blight, which is a very underrated add-on because he's got other crazy add-ons, but this is actually really, really good. I think from experience, we can kind of... Uh, um, or My intuition tells me this is really good. Uh, Lion Medallion. Increases the distance at which survivors are thrown by 30%. Okay, so this is like a safety a safety net. It makes it so that if you grab a survivor in the middle of nowhere, they are pushed further, so it's more likely they'll hit a wall, which is what damages them, right? On top of the infection. Not bad. Though, I don't know, in a, in a map that's indoors, like this one, hardly necessary, right? Leather Gloves. Decreases the time to recharge spirit and bound by 10%. Uh, okay, that's good. You, you saw me sometimes having to wait a little bit to get my second blink, quote-unquote. Seems nice, 10% recharge. Increases virulent amount extension when grabbing a swab mid-bound by 50%. So this is basically the opposite of the meme add-on, right? What, it, what does it mean, the virulent amount extension? Because that's not the distance. Is, is, that the, is that the amount of virus that it transfers? I think it's, it, I think it's the amount of... Yeah... Yeah, it has to be, it has to be how long your harm is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, okay. It's dash after you hit someone. Okay, okay. Well, I don't quite fully uh, agree with the wording there. It's a bit strange, but sure. Uh, Bullhorn. Survivors that use first to spray it sort of from the oblivious status for 30 seconds. They seem to have lots of charges and lots of sprays, so... I'm not sure this is super useful, but it seems like it will trigger fairly often. Video conference device. Many intricate conspiracies were orchestrated on devices like this one. Increases infection passive gain rate by 30%. Okay, so they do become infected passively. Red herb. Increases the time it takes as well to use the first spray by 2 seconds. Just a little bit of slowdown, nothing crazy. Uh, survivors injured by burial and bound suffer from the hemorrhage status effect until fully healed. Pretty significant, not bad. Maiden medallion. When a survivor becomes fully infected, they suffer from blindness status for 60 seconds. I mean, this can happen passively, but yeah, I don't, I don't see this one being so useful. Egg gold increases duration of the additional burial and bound window by 50%. What? Why you? What? That's actually insane. So you tell me that I can use this and and this together? That's actually amazing. And if it's, oh my god, if, if they coded it wrong, like they did with the Blight, this combo might actually be super disgusting. Oh man, I, I already want to jump and try it. Uh, don't sleep on this one. This could be really good. A uh, keyword here, could. Uh, Uroboros virus. For some, the strength of resistance was worth the trade-off. When a survivor reaches full infection, reveal the artist for four seconds. Seems nice. Uh, helicopter stick. When a survivor freezes a first spirit, reveal their aura for 8 seconds. That seems nicer, actually, because that's like, either they stay infected, which is good, or they don't, which makes this add-on trigger. Okay, nice. Green herb. Uh, increases the rate of infection when grabbing a survivor during a virulent bound by 30%. Okay, so that's what I thought the bullhorn did, so no. Uh, sorry, the challenge did. Alright, so more virus. Not sure how important that is, but don't forget, this is super easy to forget. When a survivor is fully infected, they become hindered. Which I imagine is minus 5% speed, which is like a play of food on yourself. Pretty crazy, huh? Dark sunglasses. When a survivor is fully infected with Euroboros infection, gain the undetectable status effect for 20 seconds. Okay, not a huge fan of those, but whatever. Lab photo. Wesker was, a much, uh, was as much a researcher as he was a guinea pig. Destroy pallets and breakable walls when colliding while using Burial and Bound. Removes the ability to vault pallets while using Burial and Bound. Okay, so this is like Camp on 33. 
you you don't get to break pal ball pallets normally, you just straight up break them. Depending on how quick you recover, this could be super busted. Because survivors either drop the pallet and then you break it, same as camp on 33 Blight, or they don't drop it and then you use the other arrows to catch them. And then we have the Iridescent Ouroboros Bio, the perfect bio weapon. Survivors start the trial infected with Ouroboros. Survivors suffer from exposed status effects for 30 seconds when reaching maximum infection. Okay, that's kind of... That's actually quite me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So some of these add-ons, sure, they seem to have some macro uh, issues for survivors, but I think it's the micro, the the the, the helping chase. I want to try these two add-ons just to see what that looks like. And I'm actually going to do that right now. Can, you, can we ready up and see that? We're going to see the other side of the RPD real quick. I think these add-ons are worth testing. Let's see the east wing now. Let's jump into it and see what these two look like in particular. Yeah, the, these two add-ons, they just, they just seem way too good. Uh, I want to see them. And we're also going to check out right after what the new skins look like. Because the old Jill and the old uh, Claire have actually been remodeled to be a bit more faithful. Alright, so let's do one and see what the second one looks like, okay? What, 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 the, what the timing um, for the in-between the two charges look like. All right, let's go. One. Oh, 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 look at that time, look at that time. Wait, why did I miss there? Was I just too short? Okay, that, that, the speed is nice, but the, the duration is actually insane. All right, so, say I'm chasing a survivor around this whole uh, death structure. You wanna go, Jill? Who's playing Jill? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go around it, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try... Oh, ah, okay. Nah, no, not, not in this structure. I don't quite get it. I think it's... If it was more like a straight wall, then I think you'd be in trouble. What if I do this? Ah, got it! Ooh, almost, 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 almost. Yeah, if you, if you can really measure your first one, I think this is powerful. Not as OP as it sounds. This is a very unusual structure, trust me. This is not a TL wall, which is very straight. Oh, wait, hold up. You see, just because of that little box, if it wasn't for that, I could get her. This seems... I think this is powerful. Hey, yo, what you guys doing out here? Okay. Mm, nah, I messed it up. It's tricky. Oh, you want me to kick it? No. Can I kick it? Alright, let's see the new Jill face. Can you look at me? Wow, that actually looks a lot more like the game. And... Claire looks a lot less weird than before. <laughs> She's so expressive! What? It's almost out of place, that's so crazy. That looks really pretty, okay. There's not- I, I just kick it. Do you guys want to see the kicking animation? There's nothing to see here. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why am I black for so long? <laughs> Alright. Someone loop me around here. I will catch you. I will end you. Mm. I'll catch you. I guess... You... Come on. Come on. It happens really quickly. Uh, dude. Yeah, the second one is very short. I need to remember that. You should know better. I knew exactly what I was walking into. Why are her eyes so huge? Expressive lady, I guess. Oh, dude. That would be so easy. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll try this on other things. It, it, it does seem nice. Not quite as fast as I thought it would be, but... Mm, I'll catch one of you. I'll catch one of you. That's what I'm- this is what I'm talking about. You see, normal structures that have actual corners without those teeny, tiny little boxes. Because those tiny little boxes seem to get on your way. What you can do is basically- hold on, let me get my second one. There's a- there's a doorway to the right. There, yeah? And I can't just go into- get into it, but I can do- uh, yeah. Uh, Ada, who's Ada? Lin, would you be able to run into this door and then immediately go left or right or something? Let's pretend I'm chasing you. I just wanna... I just wanna visualize how to use this power. Yeah, come. you can come from here, from the main room, and then go in. Yeah, let's go. So I would do this. 
And then I would just walk one way and... Uh... Okay. Go into that, go into that room. Yeah. Uh, so I would do something like this and then walk and... Ooh, damn, imagine if I charged that a bit earlier. Can you get stun dashing through a pallet? Yeah, most likely. I think... What a slow recharge. You can have a faster recharge with that on. But yeah, the idea is to do something like this and then walk. And then... You get them. I don't know, dude. Uh, this... Like, I understand that on that particular loop. It's a bit like demo, right? Demo in that loop, you don't really get much. You just break the pallet. But... Uh, this power strikes me as very, very strong. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> you wanna get grabbed? <laughs> Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with. Do you actually think you can defeat me? Oh! <laughs> This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Alright, run! Seven minutes. Jesus, dude! Imagine you're a tiny little Dwight, little guy, just minding your own business doing a gen right here, and then you see a Jill get yeeted across the map next to you. This kill is awesome, dude. And I injure them both. Dude, that's actually insane. Oh my god. So cringe. I fucking, I fucking love this dude. Okay, walk, 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 walk. And he's still infected, so he gets grabbed. This is sick, dude. I love this. Poor performance indeed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can I grab someone? And throw them really far? <laughs> Nina, you want to volunteer? <laughs> Let's see how far we can throw them. Oh, shoot! It actually goes so far! Jesus! Okay. Someone else, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, we're doing Olympic. Okay. Yeah, someone that's not fully infected. Okay, that should do. Um... We can do it right here. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sure, I see that. I expected more. Oh my god! Okay, this skill is great. This skill is great. Go on the PTP right now and look at his Naruto run and get this killer who is available for free during the PTP and play it yourself with friends. You're gonna have a blast, dudes. This sounds and looks ridiculous. It's so fun. We're now gonna go and test all kinds of things on this killer and beyond. And yeah, we'll have a fun little session of the P2P. Thank you so much for being part of it. My goodness, that was fun.